Let's talk about double bass endurance today. We all know if you want to get better at something, you have to practice to improve your skills. But let's be honest, most people don't really enjoy practicing. That's why everyone always seems to put more effort into searching for magical shortcuts than the actual exercises. So it's sometimes helpful to trick yourself a little and finding ways to make your exercises more enjoyable. One exercise I like to do is to play double bass at a specific tempo non-stop for a relatively long period of time to improve my endurance. Using only a metronome is insanely boring, so I like to use random songs of any genre and play whatever I want with my hands, but make sure to keep 16th on my kicks for the entire song without a break. So just a few days ago, my YouTube buddy Simon Smith made a video where he shows how long it takes to play 10,000 notes on a guitar. It takes almost 8 minutes at 160 BPM. So what the hell does this have to do with a drum exercise now? Well, for me personally, 160 BPM is an awful tempo for a double bass. It sits right between two different techniques that I use, so it just feels bad. It's neither a really comfortable tempo for one or the other technique. But that's the thing, it makes much more sense to practice the things that you're not super comfortable with, otherwise you're not really pushing yourself into improving much. So let's do this. Only rules are the feet can rest for the entire exercise and the hands can play whatever you want, but I'd recommend to not go super wild so you can still focus on playing clean with your feet. Actually harder than it sounds. Let's go.
Thank you, Simon, for unknowingly jamming with me and making my feet burn. <laughs> I hope this video was entertaining or maybe even inspired you to hit your own drums now. If so, even better. As you saw, this wasn't to show off or anything. 160 isn't an impressive tempo at all. And I for sure made a few mistakes, but that's what practicing is about, I think. If you don't mess up at all, it's not really practicing and you maybe should think about stepping up your exercises. What other maybe unusual exercises do you know to make practicing a bit more fun? Let's talk about that in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.